Well, we're taking a break from the homestead. We've got all our gear loaded up. We're going to go camping at Osage Bluff Campground on Truman Lake. We're excited. The kids are excited. So we're going to have a fun couple of nights. Welcome to the Neils Homestead, and we're going camping. We're going camping. Well, we bumped into mom and dad as they were coming home from the market. So we're getting some corn to eat too. We'll roast it on the fire. Do you guys want some leftovers from the market? Did you guys have a good day at the market? Yeah, I think we had a real good day. It was pretty hot, but people came and people bought and so I think we did good. Here's a bouquet for you to take with you. Sea Bang sent it along. Have fun everybody be safe. All right. Looking Got your life jacket. Seeing what you did. Yeah. Well we're off again. <laughs> We're almost there guys. Two minutes away. Well we've arrived at Osage Bluff Campground. We're gonna find our camping spot now. Uh, we were actually told about this camping uh, campground by somebody we happen to meet that lives in Marshall, Missouri. We got to talking to them about camping and they said that when they had young kids they love to go to this campground. It was a really family friendly one. It's on a lesser used end of the lake as far as boats. So you don't get as much boat traffic and stuff, which is great for kayaks and small kids. So we'll see how it goes. I think I have to go down a different arm of this. I think this is our spot right here on the right. Go. Well, we're here already kind of late in the day, so we're going to get our tent set up and get a fire going and cook some supper. So we'll get all the kids out and start unloading stuff. Let's settle on the floor right here. kind of starting to get dark and we need a fire so we can cook our hot dogs. I picked this up at Walmart. Gonna try it out. Fish more that way. Go farther that way. Just do it. Deeper water. So it's got the, the fire steel and it's got a striker and then in the bottom here it has a little packet of two fire starters. Give this a try. I already scraped it a couple times here. Wait, I need to modify this. Actually. You can do
the spark isn't catching so I think I need to shred this out a little bit It's just about dark and we haven't eaten yet so we're going to cook some hot dogs and I'll get the fire set up to go with that. We've got a little lamp that we bought at Walmart so I'm going to put that up so we have a look. It's pretty bright. We'll hang it up here and see how much it covers. We also have this uh, stick on light switch looking one. I'm going to put it on the board over here. Not too hot, David, okay? Just enough to show you I got big shadows. Catch this. Can you So we have turkey hot dogs, we have turkey bratwurst, turkey smoked sausage. They're all turkey because my wife can't eat red meat and it looks like we forgot ketchup. Oh well. Alright, I think we're ready to go to sleep. We're going to take this light and put it in our tent and set it up. Good morning, it's 7.45 a.m. and the temperature is about 74 degrees. Uh, we picked the campgrounds with no electricity and so we still have to have coffee. So I picked up a coffee percolator and we're going to make it on the butane stove. Well, for breakfast, we're going to have some eggplant. Uh, it's called torta. You burn the outside of the eggplant, put it with egg, and cook it. So 
I'll get that started burning because it takes a little bit. We also have turkey bacon. We have to use turkey because a couple of years ago my wife developed an allergy to red meat. She got bit by a lone star tick which caused an allergic reaction to red meat. Some of the research we've read indicates that it may go away in 10 to 15 years. It, some people it does, some people it doesn't. So we'll just see and we're hoping. It's been about two years, so it could be eight to twelve years more, or maybe never. We'll just have to see. We have duck eggs and we have quail eggs. We're going to fry those for breakfast. This is a duck egg, and I'm thinking this is going to be a double yolk duck egg. And it was. I thought it would be interesting to show you the difference between chicken eggs and duck eggs. So the chicken eggs, which you're probably familiar with, they're, compared to the duck eggs, they're much thinner shelled. And even the, the yolk and the white is much thinner. Let's try the duck egg. So if I crack it there like normal, it's still, I can't get it open. I have to use the corner of the spatula to cut through the membrane and then it's very tough as you can see the white is like really thick and the membrane in this shell is so thick so you can tell that this is richer and thicker and creamier than this is wait what are you doing? Where are my bagels? Alright, I'm going to try quail eggs and duck eggs and this food looks really good. After we finish eating, uh, we're going to move from 51 down to 54 because 54 is shaded. We booked it online, weren't able to see where the shade was going to be, uh, and it's really hot here. We even put up a tarp to try to provide a little shade, but the sun's still creeping in and it's hot, so we're going to move down there under some trees.
So we got our campsite moved and now we're ready to go kayaking and fishing. If you'd like to see a video of that, you can click the link above and then we'll continue camping after that. Thank <laughs> you.